In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up a PayPal for Business account. With a business PayPal account, you can accept payments online and in person. You can allow your customers to pay over time and you have access to a ton of other financial services. It's a great option, so let's get into it. This video is actually sponsored by Relay, the business banking platform that I use for my own business. I have found that PayPal and Relay together are the perfect solution for me as a digital product seller. So let's get started. When you arrive on PayPal, you'll see that there's options for personal and small business. You are going to want the business option, but if you start on personal and click sign up, what you will do is just select business and then get started. If you are on the small business page, which I will link down below, when you click sign up, you will end up right here on this screen. Either way, this is what you need to see to create a business account with PayPal. So here we're just gonna follow the prompts, fill in our personal information and click agree and create account. So here I filled in my information, my name, my email and the password that I want. So I'm going to click agree and create account. Next, you're gonna end up on this page where you're going to get a code emailed to the account that you just used to set up. This is to prevent fraud. So click email you a code and then go over and check your email to find the code that they sent you. I pulled up my email and I can see my code here, so I'm going to copy it. It's only good for 10 minutes, so once I've copied it, I'm then gonna paste it here and click Submit. This way, your email is gonna be verified and you will be able to proceed to the next step. Here, you can skip this section or you can go ahead and activate your account by entering your information. If you want to be able to start using PayPal and have access to everything as soon as possible, I highly recommend you follow these steps. So we're gonna click let's go and work our way through all of these options. So here you're gonna tell them what kind of business you are. You might be an LLC if you've already incorporated your business, you might be a nonprofit, you might be just a person that's selling some stuff on the side and you want to go ahead and have a business account. You select the one that's right for you. So for me, I'm actually gonna select the individual seller, sole proprietor option because I am an LLC, but my business is a single member LLC. So you would select individual or LLC for single owner or if you're just a sole proprietorship, you can select that as well. So I'm gonna select the first one. And this is actually gonna to apply to most people watching this video and signing up for a PayPal business account. If you are a larger organization or a corporation or a multi-member LLC, you would select company. But for most people, it's gonna be this first one. And then click next and move on to the next step. So here we're going to fill out all of our information that is our personal information. So you have to verify your identity to open up a PayPal business account. This is required and it is safe. It is something that if you want to be able to use PayPal, you have to do. So you will be giving them all of your personal information, your name, your birth date, your address, all of that. So here we have our legal name, our birth date, our home address, our tax ID. So you have to enter your social security number, but either way you have to enter these because if you get enough money into PayPal, they will be sending you tax forms. They will be sending them to the IRS. So this is not money that you can just pretend doesn't exist. You do have to give them your legal information and make sure that everything is on the up and up. You will also have to give them your phone number and your home address. So they do say that your home address cannot be a PO box or a address that is not your home address. So it needs to make sure that it matches what's on your tax records. So something that is going to match your tax documents. All right, so once you've entered your information and you're happy with everything on the screen, you're going to click next. On this next page, you're going to tell PayPal about your business and verify the information about your business. So you'll want to give it your name here and that is what is going to show up on the statements when your customer purchases something from you. So whenever you give them money on their credit card bill, on their PayPal statement, it's going to have this name. So if you have a business name, that is fantastic. I would enter it here. If you don't, you can click this button and just use your first and last name. So your business name will pop up here and it'll be your first and last name. If you aren't gonna do that, you can type in the name of your business. So for me, I'm gonna fill in Create With Pennies, which is the YouTube channel you're currently watching. Definitely like and subscribe if you're enjoying this tutorial. So next you can enter your trading name. Your trading name is what is going to show up on those statements. So this is where you can choose something that is different or if you don't want your personal name to show up, your first and last name to show up on their account, you can put something else here. And then next you're going to enter what product or service your business offers. So this can be any sort of business. There are a lot of different options here and I'm going to try to find something that matches my business. Since I'm a digital product seller, I'm gonna select digital goods, media, and select that. 
And then for monthly sales, if you don't know, you can just take your best guess from the drop down. Most of you, if you're just getting started, obviously will be zero to $10,000. So you can pick that. Then they want to know if you have a business website or not. If you do not have a business website, you click no. If you click yes, you would just enter it in the box. I will go ahead and click yes on this and then just enter my stand store down here, which is where I sell some of my digital products so that they have access to that and can look at that if my account is reviewed. So the more information you can give PayPal, the less likely they are to close your account. Then the final thing they want on this page is your business address. So here you will enter your business address. If you do not have a business address, you will have to click the little box here so that you can use your residential address, your home address as this address. Once you have filled in all of the information about your business, you will then click next. Now your business PayPal account is ready to go. It's not ready to be used yet. You need to take a few more steps. So don't stop watching now. We need to link a bank account. So we're gonna go click on link a bank account or you can go to your homepage and do this later. But I highly recommend when you're setting up new accounts, do everything in the setup first so that you're ready to go when you actually need to use the account. So click link a bank and we will go over to the banking section on PayPal. Here, I'm going to be entering my information for Relay, which is the bank account that I use in my business. This video is sponsored by Relay, so let me tell you a little bit about them and why I chose them for my own banking option. Relay is a fintech company that has made business banking so simple and easy to understand. They have really focused on understanding cash flow, so you can set up multiple accounts. So with Relay, you're able to have all of your business revenue come into your Relay account, and then be put into these individual accounts inside of Relay that operate as their own accounts. It makes it really, really easy to put your money for expenses aside, save for taxes, save for reinvesting into your business, and of course, to pay yourself. It makes it super simple to see where your cash is going in your business so that you always at a glance can understand what you're spending, what you're saving, and what you're doing with your business income. Using Relay has transformed my own business because I've been able to finally pay myself a steady salary and to actually be able to save for future expenses and future investments in my business. If you're curious about my full experience at Relay, I have a video detailing the first year of using Relay on my channel, and I will also leave a link to Relay down below so you can check them out and see if it's for you. That link will give you a $50 bonus when you use it, and I will get a commission as well. So thank you for supporting my channel, and now let's get back to PayPal business so we can link our bank account together and finally start using our PayPal account. So back on PayPal, you can search for your bank here. You can select from the main options here. You can scroll through, find the name of your account here. Or if you don't actually like connecting your actual account using these kinds of tools like PayPal, if you don't like the direct link, you can come down here and click link bank manually. So with this option, you can choose from checking or savings. You enter your routing number, you enter your account number, you select whether it's a business account with your business name or a personal account with your name down here and then click authorize and link. So once you have entered your bank account information, you could then click authorize and link and they will set that up after you select the uh, verification that you're not a robot, that process will get started. And then to actually confirm this bank account, they are going to deposit money into the account. So you will have two deposits that look like this. Here you click authorize and confirm and they will be putting two separate little amounts into your bank account. And then to confirm that the account's yours, you will just come back to PayPal when that's done, enter in the amounts that you were given by PayPal. They will then remove them and you will have your bank account linked. This is the old school method of doing it, but if you're more comfortable without connecting in a different way, that's fine. And this is an easy way to do it. Now you've connected your account, so you can always see which one is connected by going to finance, going to banks and cards, and then it will show at the bottom down here. So you'll have the bank accounts here. If it's confirmation pending, it'll have that underneath the bank account. You can also click link a bank account and add another one. If you have multiple business accounts, you can add as many as you need and have them all linked to the same PayPal account. Now you can add money to your account. You can accept money from customers. You can create invoices. You can create payment links. You have a ton of options with your business PayPal account.
If this video was helpful to you, definitely give it a like and subscribe to Create With Pennies where I share all about business tools that can help creators and business owners make more money. And next, watch this video on how to set up a Stripe account because if you're accepting payments online, you probably want both a PayPal and a Stripe account.